Hello, welcome to Kate's Egg. Darcy's drill broke down. I don't know what happened to it, but Uncle Chris was working on it and fixed it and then filled it up with seed and fertilizer and moved it to this field. So now Uncle Chris and Darcy switched again and Uncle Chris is driving the flex coil. So I'm just waiting in the pickup till he gets down here and I'll hop in the tractor and hopefully drive. This field has a lot of power lines. So that's not something I have a lot of experience with or any experience really. We are in a new field. So we're going to set a new AB line, which is just the GPS line so that the tractor will steer itself down the field. We have to make a turn and come back into our path because that's a big clump of straw that was plugging the drill up. That's one of the reasons farmers use a heavy harrow to help spread that out, which we didn't this year. Uncle Chris got out of the drill and now it's just me because my head wall here is a little curved. I have to wait to, until this side fully clears the unseated area. I pushed auto steer in, set my drill down. I have about three bars of seed, two bars now. I'm just going to keep going until I need to fill. Then I'll come back in the field. There is a lot of extra straw in this field and usually we would heavy harrow it, but we didn't this summer. And it's starting to kind of plug the drills a little bit. So I have to really watch the implement. A lot of times the areas in the field with big clumps of straw are where the combine stopped and all the straw came out in one place. My seat swivels, got it pushed this way so that I can easily look out the window and watch the implement because it's especially important in this field due to the excess straw. Uncle Chris is helping Austin, our employee, move the fertilizer and seed trucks over here so that when Darcy and I run out of seed we're able to fill and I guess fertilizer as well. I'll run out a lot before Darcy because Darcy was seeding in this drill in this field about two hours earlier because the John Deere drill wasn't working. It had a shear bolt that broke on the top. I usually start my 90 degree turn before I pick the implement up and then I'll drive straight for a little while and turn into my guidance path. That was a little bit tight, but it worked out. This is an air drill, meaning the way the seed goes into the ground is it's pushed by air. So the seed and fertilizer tanks are pressurized and have air pushing through the hoses to get the seed out. You have to have a fan on that and that's running 4,050 RPM, going 5.1 miles an hour in eighth gear. Little bump in the field there. Got a pretty big rock coming up, so I'm just going to lower my RPM a little bit and slow down. I like to watch it go through the drill to make sure it doesn't get stuck anywhere. I'm really loving seeding. You can put different types of fertilizer down depending on the soil tests you've done on your soil and what your soil is deficient in, as well as what variety of wheat. Do you have a specific type of weeds in your field that need a specific variety of wheat so you can spray something different on them to kill that weed. There's lots of different things that you have to think about seeding. So many different variables that go into farming. We want to try and control as many as we can. I do have to say I absolutely love having auto steer. Darcy is doing the other half of the field and I'm set on a 270 AB line, meaning I'm headed west right now. So north is zero, east is 90, south is 180. So that's what we were doing in the other field because we were going north to south and then west is 270. And usually we always see the fields north to south, but this field is longer east to west. So that's why we're seeding this direction. Darcy's working on the north half of the field and I'm working on the south half. The north half has all of the power lines and Darcy's actually doing one of those now. I will have probably two power lines maybe. There's six in this field, so Darcy would have the other four. I've got my gloves and radio over here. When I put my radio back on its mount, it is so hard to get it off. I have to just 
squeeze the button and talk from a distance because it is super challenging to remove from there. So I just keep it down here. Darcy already did the really close pass around the power line. I should just have to drive past it. I am right under the power line now and that's not usually very fun. I've got my K-Tank tote bag here in the cab with me. It holds lots of different things. I usually have my gloves in it too, but today they're sitting right here. This is what it looks like outside my front window seating. I've got my monitor for the tractor here and it shows where I'm seated, which is the dark blue. And then I have my monitor for my implement. All of these controls here, lots of them. My steering wheel. And this is what it looks like out the back of the window. Now Uncle Chris is backing the truck up. We're filling seed first. That's my first tank right there. So I just have to help him line up. Now I'm going to the top of the fertilizer and seed tank to help the seed come in and just kind of wash it. Here's my drill. It's 57 feet long. The truck with the red stripes is actually the truck I drove to Sunburst and hauled malt barley in. I also stalled it out right over the pit, so it took us over half an hour to get it started again. It was one of the first tandem trucks I ever learned to drive and now it's our fertilizer truck today. It has lots of different uses on the farm. These two tanks are fertilizer, this one seed. The truck backs up to this hopper, which is just a bucket basically, like this, and is it's augered up through here into whichever tank you move this auger into. to go check my boots. I'm good. Yep. I just filled my tank with the great help of Uncle Chris, so thank you. Now I am driving back to where I was. I'm just double checking everything to make sure I'm going to be good when I get ready to start seeding. Checking my hydraulics, making sure the auger isn't running double checking that I turn my fan on, which is super important. That's what blows the seed into the ground through the hoses. I'm clearing my acreage on my tanks. I select the tank and then I press minus for five seconds. So now my tanks are clear. I picked the wrong line. That's okay. Just got to do another corner. Close. 
That was not good. Well, that went over pretty well. I did have a few skips along the power pole and I wasn't even the one who seated right next to it. But it's all a learning curve and I know I will get better with time. I'm going to slow down a little bit because Darcy is right up there. Give him some time to go around the power pole. Now I'm driving over to the lentil field. It doesn't have lentils in it now, but it was the lentils we harvested this year. Okay, drive over to the lentils and then come down the lentil. I just turned the fan off. Well, it was another wonderful day seating and I learned so much, even more comfortable with the drill now. Thank you so much for watching. You can also follow Kate Sag on Instagram, A-A-T-E-S underscore A-G, and on Facebook and Pinterest and Twitter. And on my TikTok account, make sure you are following the only account run by me, A-A-T-E-S underscore A-G. There is an imposter account. You can also visit the Kate Sag website and purchase a Kate Sag tote bag. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!